The space race between the United States and Russia during the Cold War era was marked by a relentless pursuit of technological advancement and national pride. But behind the scenes, a disturbing reality emerged. Animals were subjected to brutal treatment in the name of space exploration. From dogs sent to orbit in the Soviet Union to chimpanzees accelerated on rocket sleds in the United States. These animals were used as test subjects in the race to conquer the final frontier. In 1961, the world was captivated by the Soviet Union's successful launch of the Sputnik satellite, sparking fierce competition between the United States and the Soviet Union to be the first country to launch a human into space. President John F. Kennedy understood the significance of this achievement and called on Congress to take the necessary steps to send an American to the moon by the end of the decade. This was a momentous challenge, but the United States was determined to take a leading role in space exploration. However, what many people didn't know was the cost of this achievement, the use of test animals, including dogs and monkeys, in the name of the space race. These experiments were kept hidden from the public, but later on, the truth about the cruel treatment of these animals was revealed. In the Soviet Union, stray dogs were used for experiments. These dogs were well known to the physiologists who had been working with them for years, and they believed that mongrels were more resilient and better suited to the harsh conditions of space travel. But even among stray dogs, there were strict selection criteria. Candidates had to weigh no more than 6 kilograms, be no taller than 35 centimeters, and have short fur to make it easier to attach the necessary sensors. Among these dogs, female candidates were preferred for the first ground-based experiments, as it was easier to build a toilet for them, as they didn't have to lift one leg to relieve themselves. But it wasn't just about practicality. These animals also had to look good on camera, as they were often used in promotional photos. One such dog was Laika, a stray dog found on the streets of Moscow in 1957. Due to her calm demeanor, she was selected as the main candidate for launch. As scientists trained her, they became deeply attached to her. In fact, before the launch, they were so emotional that they said goodbye to her with tears in their eyes. This cannot be said about the American scientists who prepared Ham the Chimp to fly into space. He wasn't even given a name until the last moment. But in the end, he was named after the acronym for the Holloman Aerospace Medical Center in New Mexico. NASA claimed to use only legally obtained animals for flights, but the reality was far from that. In the case of Ham, a chimpanzee, he was kidnapped by poachers as an infant and then sold to NASA for $450. As the countdown to liftoff began, Soviet scientists worked tirelessly to ensure that the animals selected for space travel were able to endure the cramped and enclosed conditions of the flight. Laika in particular underwent a rigorous training program to prepare her for the sealed capsule that would be her home during the journey. The scientists gradually acclimated Laika to smaller and smaller cells until she was able to stay locked up for up to 20 days at a time. In addition to the confinement, Laika was also subjected to intense simulations of the gravity and noise levels she would experience during the flight, including being spun in a centrifuge. Eventually, she stopped being frightened by the sounds and learned to sit quietly in its experimental equipment, making it possible to record the biocurrents of the heart muscles and brain. While the training of dogs like Laika may have been considered relatively humane, the same cannot be said for the treatment of monkeys at Holloman Air Force Base in the United States. These poor animals were subjected to the brutal force of the sonic wind one rocket sled, accelerating them at a speed of 640 kilometers per hour before coming to a sudden and violent stop. The result was devastating, with many chimpanzees suffering severe concussions and even having their organs destroyed as they slammed against their skull bones. Tragically, even after these initial deaths, the scientists persisted in their cruel experimentation, continuing to study the impact of sudden changes in airflow. They even went so far as to install special windshields on the sleds, which would detach at a specific moment, exposing the pilots to powerful currents of air. One launch ended in tragedy, when the airflow tore the spacesuit off of one chimpanzee, leaving him with 40 burn injuries. He died the next day, but the launches continued with more animals suffering the same fate. The journey of the American monkey pilot Enos was a tumultuous one from the start. The launch of the spacecraft carrying him was plagued with delays, leaving him stranded in the cramped cabin for three long hours. And though the takeoff itself was successful, 
Enos was subjected to pressures nearly eight times greater than Earth's gravity, but the worst was yet to come. In the name of science, the scientists installed a series of levers and light bulbs in the cabin, tasking Enos with solving various puzzles, such as pulling the correct lever to turn off a light. But if he made a mistake, he was met with a painful electric shock. Though he performed most of the tasks correctly, a malfunction in the current supply system resulted in him being shocked 33 times in a row. Confused and frightened, Enos could not understand why he was being punished. Let's go back to Laika. Like Enos, she was also confused and frightened by the strange and unknown experience of space travel. As the countdown to launch began, her heartbeat skyrocketed to an alarming 260 beats per minute, three times her normal rate, and her breathing became rapid and labored. But as the spacecraft ascended into zero gravity, her vital signs began to stabilize. However, just eight hours after launch, disaster struck. The system responsible for regulating the temperature in the capsule failed, causing the air to become unbearably hot at 42 degrees Celsius, making it difficult for Lika to breathe. The flight control center on Earth was powerless to intervene, as the malfunction was on the capsule itself. Contact with the satellite was lost and there was no further information on Lika's condition. To this day, the fate of Lika and other animals sent to space remains a mystery. The official story of Laika's death was that she had passed away after ingesting poison that had been mixed into her food in advance to save her from a painful death upon re-entry. However, the reality was far from that. In reality, Laika had died after six hours of suffering from overheating in the cabin. Nevertheless, the Soviet Union used the mission for propaganda purposes and the space dog Laika became world famous. The fate of American chimpanzee pilots Ham and Enos was vastly different. Upon returning to Earth, Ham's capsule deviated 160 kilometers off course, and he landed in the middle of the Atlantic, almost drowning while waiting for rescue. As a reward for his sacrifice, Ham received nothing but a simple apple. Enos also landed in the sea, and upon being pulled from the water, was found to be furious. He had broken out of his restraints, ripped off his medical sensors, and pulled out his urinary catheter. Laika's mission did yield some results, and scientists learned about solar and cosmic radiation, but the experiment with Enos can be considered a failure. Due to system malfunctions, scientists were never able to fully evaluate the primate's performance in space. And as American pilot John Glenn was preparing to travel to the stars on the Mercury Atlas 6 spacecraft, media attention quickly shifted away from Enos, and he was simply forgotten. While the quest to explore the great beyond has led to many groundbreaking discoveries and advancements in technology, it is important to remember the sacrifices made by the animals who played a part in these achievements. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing stories.